What's up, Cowboy Nation? It's your boy, M. Breezy. Back at you with another one. Today, we're going to focus on Rain Dakota Prescott, Dallas Cowboys quarterback. I like that. That's a good guy. He's somewhat considered a good leader. I can, I can, um, I can, I can go with, I can agree with that assessment. But you know, that Prescott, somehow, he just cannot beat good teams with winning records, 500 or better. I don't know if, uh, maybe it's good teams with good defensive coordinators that knows how to get that off his game, off his rhythm. Because somehow, you, you if you put pressure on that press scout, he will fold. And if you miss up coverages in the secondary, if you move like you move move linebackers around, move men around, he somehow gets confused. And it's been proven over the years, especially in big games. Because I don't see how someone can play real good against the NFC East, put up 30, 40 points. It just looked like he's going to have a Pro Bowl year. But as soon as we play as a team with a 500 win, a, a winning record, somehow this making, we can't find the end zone. We look like an average team at best. Average team at best. Then you wonder why people say, don't worry about the Cowboys. If they go to playoff, they're one and done. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, I can't argue with those. Argue with that because those are facts. Those are facts. But I'll put that Prescott. Uh, Amara Cooper is now gone. Some people saying that, oh, Amara Cooper falling off. Uh, he don't fit with the team no more. Yeah, right. Mari Cooper is considered to be one of the best route runners in the NFL. And you can't get Amari Cooper the ball, you can't get no one the ball. There's, there's Bryant. Was a great receiver. But he was not good at route running. But Des Bryant, if you get the ball to Des Brown in a certain position, Des Bryant will go get the ball. Two years later, at the Dakota Prescott ride in the Cowboys, Dez Brown was out the door. They said Dez Brown was washed up. They said Cooper washed up. Cooper's through. And there's two wide receivers that's been gone from the Cowboys. Two great receivers. But no one wants to blame Dakota Rain Prescott. But now we're about to see when CeeDee Lamb becomes the number one receiver, when CeeDee Lamb get double team, those young guys out there on the field with Brain Dakota Prescott, he don't have no continuity with. How is, how is this offense gonna look? How is this offense gonna look? Okay. But uh, against the NFC East, man, hey, Prescott, hey, hey, he looks good. Look like, look like a Hall of Famer. Against the NFC East, he's 16-2. It's easily the worst division in the league. And these are the words by Colin Cowherd. He's 14-20 against everybody else. Against the NFC East, he's a pro bowler. He's got a 109 quarterback rating. Against everybody else, he's a guy. He's just a guy. Not terrible, but a B, B plus guy. The last four seasons, against team with winning record, he's 8 and 17. That's just 500 or better. And the touchdown to interception ratio is insane. Against bad teams, he is 41 to 24. 
versus team over 500, 52 and 9 versus team under 500. Hey, man. Hey, boy, that's a hey, that's a big change, man. That's a that's a very big change, a big change against bad team and against good teams. It clearly shows, ladies and gentlemen, we can't deny the facts. They're right in front of your face. I understand that. Uh, we got guys out there that we can't criticize that because oh, we're not true Cowboy fans or we're haters, we're fake, we're bandwagon riders. But I, I don't consider myself one of those. I consider myself a truth teller. And I call it like I see it. That press guy, it, it, is what you, it is what it is, man. It, hey, what you see with this man is what you get with Randy Dakota Prescott. And hey, numbers don't lie as they say. Numbers don't lie. This is look at Dak Prescott coming up to his contract year. 2018, 2019 versus playoff teams. 17 touchdowns, 18 turnovers. This is coming up to his contract year, ladies and gentlemen. 2019 versus playoff teams. He had six points, two field goals on nine potential game time. Or go ahead, fourth quarter drive. Six points. Two field goals. Nine potential game tie. Or go ahead, fourth quarter drive. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not good at all. That's not good. For a man that wanted, wanted the money that he got, numbers like that don't get you that kind of payday. Hey, but in, the, in today's league, hey, I guess you do. I guess you can do. I guess you can be average at best and get forty million dollars a year. Hey, well, who who am I? I'm just a fan. 2019 versus top ten defenses. He's zero and five. Win losses. Eight and six touchdown to interception ratio. Fifty five point three quarterback rating. 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, this man want to get paid like a uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, uh, Josh Allen. Uh, who else got that big money out there? Patrick Mahomes. He want to get paid like those guys. But with, with those numbers, man, you don't hey, you don't deserve to get money like that. This, but ladies and gentlemen, this is the NFL. What one man does, other man does. They go by positions around here now. Totally about positions. One man sets a trend for the next man. But uh Ladies and gentlemen, we got to deal with this. We have no other choice. We're stuck with Randy Dakota Prescott for the next, what, three years, I assume? Next three years. All right. That Prescott record against winning teams since entering the NFL in 2016. That Prescott, 13 and 20. Point. 393% winning ratio against teams finished the season with a winning record 2020 that Prescott was 0-3 0% 0% the winning teams as a starting quarterback lost to the Rams Lost to the Packers. 
Lost to the Eagles. Lost to the Vikings. Patriots, Bills, Rams, and the Eagles. 2018. That was 3 and 4 with a 428 percentage. That's under 500. Against teams that are his teams as the starting quarterback. Lost to the Seahawks, Texans, Titans, Eagles, Saints, Eagles, and the Colts. Those are regular season records against teams with winning records, ladies and gentlemen. That's not good at all. It's, it's really not good. We know he had a good year in 2016. Fantastic year. Outstanding. But no one knew, but no nobody knew about Randy the Carter Prescott. But once that film came out, he started to regress a little bit. But he always kept the Cowboys in playoff contention. Thanks to the NFC East. We got our hopes up high every year. Every year. He won that one. He won one playoff game in 2019. We beat Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Then we lost to the Los Angeles Rams in the second round, divisional game. That Prescott look good. Sometimes he don't. He will fool you. That Prescott will fool you in a minute. No weak teams we play. Oh man, he shine like a light. Oh, that press guy. Oh, pay the man. Pay the man. Get the man his money. Pay the man. Everybody want to pay the man. Then when the man get paid, we can't win a playoff game. We can't win a playoff game, ladies and gentlemen. We can't win a playoff game, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're gonna see this year. It's another year coming up. I don't think this is gonna be a good year for to be under which. I don't think it's gonna be a good year. I really don't. We got some young guys coming in. Wide receiver. Michael Gallup is not there right now. He's hurt. You know, we don't know what we're going to get from him. When he come back, off that knee injury he had, he's going to miss like two or, two or four games. I think it's like the first month of the season. I think that's what they were saying. But hey. Boy, am I the judge. I'm just here for it all, baby. I'm just here for it all. I'm here for it all. It's my team, my role with them. But my hopes are not going to get high. But boy, these guys will give you high blood pressure. Do you hear me? These guys will give you high blood pressure. I'm telling you right now. But to my boys, Cowboy Nation, my old guys. Those are our guys. And we got to deal with that. Win, lose, or draw. I'm still riding with Cowboy Nation, but I'm going to call it like I see it. I was on the internet the other day. I think it was yesterday. I seen a little thing about who would you rather have, Michael Vick or Rain Dakota Prescott. And a, lot, a lot of these Twitter guys, hey man, hey. I don't know if they cowboy haters or what, but you but you know what the answer is going to be. You know what the answer is going to be when that, when, that, when that came out. So I just want you to look, see a little bit of them, Cowboy Nation, what they say about your boy, that Prescott, Michael Vick. Who would you rather have? Let's see it. One guy said, the leak. This please. It's not even close. It's Michael Vick. 
That's what one guy said. It's not even close. Okay. Then you got another guy said, who in the hell is picking that? And another guy said, Vic would have won with this roster already. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys clearly don't see trust in Dak Prescott. Could be haters, could be Cowboys fans, I don't know. But more likely, they're probably Cowboy haters. Anyway, this is what the last guy said. Dumbest question ever. Dumbest question ever. That's what they said. The dumbest question ever. But now you see how people feel about our quarterback, Randy Dakota Prescott, ladies and gentlemen. The pressure is on that this year. You got that money, man. You got to produce. You got to show up. And you got to show out. The way I see it, man, I think it's going to be another bad year for Dak Prescott. I really do. I hope I hope it don't. Man, this guy, man, he, he just don't seem like he can, he, he, he gets scared in big game, he, like he don't know what's going on. Like, the, like last year, the playoff game, this year, brother. How you going to not forget? You got to let the referee touch the ball first. The, the grounds referee. You got to let the ref touch the ball first before you try to call a play. Now, he didn't know that. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on. But we got to do better. We got to make better throws. Because we only go so far as the quarterback goes. Hey, I don't want to be the one to judge. But I'm a Cowboy fan. That's my team. And hey, so criticism is not above anyone. Not above anyone, ladies and gentlemen. But I just hope that Rain Dakota Prescott is our guy. I just hope Rain I just hope Rain Dakota Prescott some way, somehow. Make a non believer. Make a believer out of non believers. Until then, till the next time. Like and subscribe to your Truly, I'm breezy. Till the next time, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Peace.